So there's 19 songs on the album 20. plus a bl bonus track. Yes, so 20. Okay. You see, so I know more than she does. No, come on. <laughs> I was, it's 20. It's still 20. Much okay, 20. 20. Anyway, okay, yeah. yeah. So obviously, it was the bonus track 20. Yeah. But 16 out of these songs have features. And I've seen a conversation also coming up here and there about it saying, why so many features uh, on an album for mm -hmm. a rapper? Um, is, is this a secret to having a successful album? No, it's not a secret to having a successful album. Mm. And uh, I mean, if people have been following me for a minute now, I have done the majority of my songs solo. I've dropped solo songs mm. from quite a number that I've dropped solo. And uh, if you can see, the majority of the features are people that I'm trying to come, like, bring up as well. I mm. didn't just use the famous names. I use people that need to be heard. And yeah. so far, so good. I begin, people are beginning to know people they never even knew about. You know what I mean? Mm. So for me, that was my aim. It's not that you got to have features for your album to be successful. You can be alone and have a successful album. There are singles I've dropped and I've been alone on that song, and the song was great. Mm. So for me, it was more of trying to bring in the voices that need to be heard. And these are upcoming artists that are, are new to the market, and I, I felt they should be part of the Fumukazi album so that a lot of people can get to know about them. Who would you name in particular from the album who you feel people should focus on more? I wouldn't have a particular person. Actually, I have a number that I feel they should. Okay, focus. you can name some of them. Uh, yeah. uh, they should focus on Vincenzo, that's for sure. Yeah, because he's on the Mfugu title Kaz. track. Yes, itself, uh, yeah. he's, 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 he's a star. They should definitely focus on Typho. Typho has been there, but he needs to be heard more. Mm. Um, Killer, the Sashiska, you know. Those people need to be heard. They've got so much to share to the world, and I feel they should really be heard. I mean, you talk about this album being for the, the queens. Yeah. But a lot of the names you've mentioned people should focus on. Are the Mfumus themselves? They're the Mfumus, but they're supporting the Queen. I mean, what makes the Queen? So it's, is it about the Queen or the Queens? It's about the Queens. Sashiska is a female. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, perhaps this also maybe says something about the involvement or the number of women, young women in the music industry, yeah. whether coming up or established. Mm -hmm. Why are we still seeing a fewer number? Even from a Queen like yourself yeah. and promoting fellow young female artists uh -huh. well like when it comes to promoting fellow women artists i am open whoever wants to work with me i am open they gotta reach out so is it, is it just them not being available i feel like the majority is them not being available to be honest because let's talk about killer i've worked with killer for a very long time he's always been on me like he always wants to work with me you know what i mean i'm available if somebody's gonna come through to me and say i want to work with you i have no time to hold back mm. yeah which is a good thing. And um, I think one of the, the, the features that uh, people can look forward to, like you say, the, 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 the title track itself, there's, there's Kumukai, skills, yeah, on, the skills um, yeah. in the, on the album. Mm -hmm. But what song would you say was the hardest or took the longest to actualize, to get the artist or artists involved and finalized? You know, what's funny is that everybody that I worked on on this album was so cooperative. Like, we didn't have situations where, oh, the artist hasn't sent this song, or this person hasn't done this. Really? Yeah, everyone just really felt like they were they're going to be part of it, and they were part of it, and it feels great to have them. So there was, there was, not, there was no hesitation mm. on the artist that I got to feature on. It's like, for them, it was, well, it's about time you dropped an album. I'm definitely jumping on. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, people rarely experience that. Really, I know, it's hard. Because you, you find the other person is this, other person. Oh, no, I just hold on, I'll send you the verse. No, no. but no. Is it because you're, you're a bombshell? No, I don't think that. I don't think it's because I'm bombshell. I think it's just people like knowing that we got to work together. And that's the only way to get up. Because it, it, I, I've heard of different artists experiencing that. j Rock's complained about it recently. Or okay. maybe it's also the selection of artists you chose. Maybe you chose maybe artists it's a selection. you have a good relationship with. You will not believe I have not even met Vincenzo in my life. Really? Yeah. So the artist on your title track for the album I've has not even we've met. We've not before. met. We've actually never met. We are yet to meet when we're shooting the video. But you see, he was ready to jump on it. And he did very well. Josie as well. I've never met him yet. Really? Yeah. Have you met Skills? No, I've met Skills. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's interesting because... Um, so it's just a matter of them sending you the, the, the data or them coming to the studio? Them coming to the studio recording. It's obviously the times that they recorded, I wasn't there. Maybe I was busy doing other stuff. But yeah. then I found the vocals there and I loved it. But look at just how cooperative it was, you know? Mm. So yeah. uh, what are, uh, how important is chemistry for you? Because you've never met some of these artists. But no, it's very yourself. important to have chemistry. But then also, that's why it, uh, being an artist is an art. 
Yeah. If you have a vision, you're an artist, you should be able to hear something. And so, okay, the owner wants this to sound like this. Mm. And it sounds just like that. Because, I mean, how, how magical was it that me and Vincenzo were not in the same spot, but we created something so mag magical? I can only imagine the, the time we're going to actually get to meet, mm -hmm. how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say he's somebody I feel should really be heard. Like, he should be given a really a platform to do crazy. Because mm. he's, he's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we're having a brilliant interview right now with Bombshell Grenade, who is our guest and on the table. And when we get back, we discuss more of what's happening in the music industry. Stick around. Welcome back to On the Table. It's true watching our conversation with Bombshell, who we have in, with us in studio. Now, one of the things that's quite interesting from, mm -hmm. from the year 2020, uh, <laughs> I see you smile. Why are you smiling? Uh. <laughs> I don't get it. I, well, hey, should I, we've got a, a clown around the studio. No, What's going on? I'm what just what so are the happy. camera, what's the camera team doing? Here. The cameraman is probably. I'm excited to be on the table, you know? Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, getting to what I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, 2020, towards the end of 2020, uh -huh. you were announced as the latest signing of Nexus Music. Mm. And as of 2022, where we stand right now, we have seen some artists whose contracts have ended. Others talking about how they're not going back to the label. Where do you stand as Bombshell with Nexus? That's why I'm laughing, you know. You know, because <laughs> what's funny is that I've been asked this question by quite a number of people, and it's it's, it's funny. Why, why why am I being asked this question? Like it's weird. Because you really are weird. a top artist under a top record label, mm -hmm. and people want to know where you stand. Where I stand? Are you under Nexus? Let me make this precise before you give me a very well, as smart it is, answer. I am under Nexus, as it is. Yeah. Still um, going strong. We're moving. Removing. That doesn't sound very convincing. What do you mean it doesn't sound convincing? Because your answer is not very convincing. Because if it was, like, yes, I am under Nexus. No, music I, said, I am currently time. under Nexus. I said that. We're moving. And I just dropped an album. So my focus yeah. has been mainly on my album, which is Infumukazi. That's yeah. been my focus mostly. So focus more on the album than the label. It's been my focus. It's been on my album. Yeah. And mm. not the label. My focus has been on the album. You see what I was saying about the, 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 the smart response? I, I, I knew that would come. But look... <laughs> <laughs> but look, um, even okay. when you talk about your focus being mm. on the album, on the album, that's like a newborn baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Every child, like if you like, if, when a mother gives birth, yeah, you're not gonna go to them and ask them for the like the husband or their family members. They, the the main question would be, how is your daughter? How yeah. is your newborn? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you. you so I'm like that you, mother. You, right especially now. if you are, if you if you're married, you know uh -huh. what I mean. You'd want to know what the situation is with the father. You know, uh -huh. is the father. There for the kid as well. We for married, he's definitely got to be there for the kid. And if we're not married, then it will be seen that he's not there for the kid. So that should give you an answer. Because you speak about your focus being on the album. Exactly. And it doesn't seem like the dad, in this case, is, is, is as involved as the mother. There we go. So my focus is on my album. So will it be part of the, like, the 22,000 divorce cases last year that we saw? Uh, well, we don't, we don't practice divorce, but you know, when two people can't really be together, then one should just separate. It's not a divorce, it's just an understanding. Say, okay, maybe we're not being able to work together. We're not moving in the same dream as the owner of the child. So maybe the, the father should step away if it's not working. Mm. If maybe the father is seemingly not to be too involved with the child. Look, when this record label escape, KMP, mm -hmm. Nexus Music, yeah. People had very, very high hopes for 100%. what is going to happen. Yeah. But it's like the more time goes, it doesn't seem to be the situation where artists who are quite excited about it are not as excited. And for people who are seeing it, music lovers, it doesn't seem to be what people expected it to be. Where do you think things are going wrong? Where do you think things are going wrong? I don't know. You know, okay, I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not going to speak on behalf of other artists or whatever. For me personally, uh, looking at my career, I've always been somebody that's pushed for bombshell by myself. I never had um, a, a back muscle like the way the, the, the labels have come through to help us. Maybe other artists are too dependent on always waiting, like only until they do this, then 
that's when I'm going to do this. Mm. So I don't know. Maybe that's why the artists will come in and complain about that. Because so, for me, if I see a slow move, I go push. I push for myself. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to wait. I just continue pushing. Because at the end of the day, my, my career and my brand are my baby. Mm. If they don't make it, I'm going to blame myself. I'm not going to blame the other person. Those people came in to help our dreams, but it's up to us to actually push. So if we wait for them all the time, then... So in other words, ourselves. is this a situation of artists being a trick, too expectant? I, I'm thinking that as well. It could be. So but weren't these things also stipulated in your contracts? I know obviously you can't go into details of your no, contracts. No, I can't go into details yeah. in my contract, but I am just saying, I am not a person who's going to say, oh, just because this has been written and this, that, that, I'm going to sit back and relax and wait. Yeah. I continue pushing. I continue doing what I got to do. When something comes through from the label, then well and good. It's beautiful. Because from the sound of things, it seems like also, this happens, I know, with record labels, where they prioritize certain artists, maybe saying, okay, now we are pushing this particular artist for now, so you have to wait. Then you as an artist are saying, look, I'm not going to wait because I need to get this out. Mm -hmm. uh, are these things that also affect the push that an artist would expect? I think so. But then when you've built yourself, because for me, I'm not just an artist, I'm a brand. So there's also my brand side that I have to always push. That one, I'm not going to wait, say, no, we have to do this for this. No. I always push my brand. It has to go forward. There's no time to wait. So maybe there's that angle that you could say, maybe, but you know, like if we're talking about music, there's times when a record label is going to have a whole lineup for music that's dropping. Obviously there, you can't say, no, because you said uh, this person's song is supposed to drop mine. I'm, I'm supposed to drop mine on this day. That you gotta you gotta work with the program. Mm. You can't go away ahead of everybody else and drop a song when there's actually been a lineup. Mm. You understand? Mm. But when it comes to a brand, the brand is different. Mm. If uh, let's say uh, Bedwinner wants me, and there's another label that's saying no, but we have uh, we're supposed to be announcing this other person because we've also gotten them a deal. I'm I'm not gonna hold back on that. Mm. And oh. that, I don't think that clashes anyway. Mm. Okay, let's let's hit the nail on the head. So, you, you say just two signed under Nexus Music, mm -hmm. which is pretty much used to being married under Nexus Music. But are you in separation with Nexus Music? Am I on separation? <laughs> Am I on separation? There's no paperwork saying separation. You, you, know? you know what I mean. I get it. Yeah. I do get it. I told you, my focus right now is my album. Because then we'll easily assume that it's, 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 it's quite rocky at the moment because it's not a very, a very exciting answer. How is that supposed to be an exciting answer? Because if it's very exciting, like, yes, I still am under Nexus music. How, okay, how do you, you say in a certain type of format? Yes, I'm still under Nexus music. I'm still under Nexus music. How healthy is your relationship with Nexus at the moment? I will. It's going through vitamins and all that. Just needs more vitamins. Mm. Yeah, maybe some vitamin C. Oh, should I say, how, are you happy? Being under Nexus. I'm happy now. I dropped an album. So happy. Okay. Okay. Speaking of your album. Yeah, <laughs> that should be our focus. <laughs> I know it's available on uh, pretty much most streaming all platforms. Online, all online platforms, all. yeah. Um, uh, uh, tell us what people can also expect from you for this year. We know you've just dropped the album. Yeah. Uh, it, it came out just recently. Yeah. But we still have a couple months, about 10 months before this it's year oh, ends. Geez, it's already 10? Imagine. Because February is going to be done soon. It's Valentine's Day. I know, right? I mean, uh, Valentine's. So what can people expect from uh, the I'm queen? planning oh, an gosh. EP. Already? Just after the yeah. album? Yeah, I'm planning an EP. Yeah. Okay. You, do you remember the first interview you gave me? You told me I didn't have too much out there. Did I say that? Yeah. I don't remember. Oh my goodness. You can find it. And people say I'm mean uh, now. I'm very good now. I, I, I say that? Yeah, you did. You're like, you know, Bombshell, you don't have too much music out there. That, okay, now that's you a have, lie. You haven't that's done so much music. <laughs> but now you're getting shocked. Like, what? You just dropped an album? You're planning an EP? <laughs> what? I love that, but that's good. So, where can people expect the EP? No, I'm not going to say exactly when they should expect it, mm. but I'm planning an EP. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's exciting. And a whole lot more of, uh, videos, obviously, and just a whole lot of work. Like, yeah. we got to work, yeah. you know? Okay, so even before your, your EP drops, mm -hmm. obviously, you plan on dropping more videos for, from the Fumukazi album. Yeah, yeah. So, would this be done and funded by your husband? You know, it's funny when you say husband, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really a marriage. Your music husband, anyway. Okay, so the... Uh, or is it parent? I don't know. Parent, let's call it parent. Parent is father. better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. father. Stepfather. Yeah. Oh, Stepfather, okay. Stepfather. Uh-huh. So, uh, well, uh, 
some of them are probably because obviously uh, the 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 Fumukazi dropped under Nexus, so some of them are definitely going to come from them. But it would also be nice for me to do something on my own, especially yeah. that something that I did by my own has been a minute. Fukunyuka was the last video I did on my own. It would be also nice to just do something on my own soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I I recently attended an event where you were being announced as brand ambassador for a betting company, mm -hmm. and it, the invitation, even when I was invited for that, it was a KMP that betting company and it's ironic because from the other side it was you and chef 187 and i was thinking what does this mean does this mean that bombshell is a, is is about to be with kmp what's what's going on there <laughs> i don't know this is turned into a comedy show i don't know how i think it has <laughs> What's this? Try not to laugh now. I think try not to laugh. Yeah. You should see how even asked so this. What does this mean? Yeah, just... What does this mean? Come on. I'm about teamwork. I'm about working together. Yeah. Okay. Our bed winner is under KMP, which I have nothing, no issues about. KMP is doing great things. Those guys have been doing well with our artists. They've brought in the dream as well, been making dreams come true for artists that they're with. So why not partner with them when it comes to bed winner? I have no problems with that. Yeah. Yeah. As long as the bag is. I mean, we got to get that paper. We got to feed our families, our kids. You know, being a parent is crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we got to do what we got to do. All right. Awesome. So what did, have you thought of what you're going to call your EP? No, no, no. Not yet. Um, I wouldn't want to lie to tell people. But definitely, it's, for me, I'm about the women. So it's definitely going to be something on the women. Mm. Yeah. Bombshell, uh, I appreciate you coming through and having a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think she laughed this much on trying not to laugh, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I was like, what's the next question yeah, now? Yeah. Okay. So it was, thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for having me, Chimweka. Yeah. I, I always love having you here. Yeah. 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 And I look forward to having you again. Yeah. When the next record label signs you. All right. So that's our conversation with uh, Bombshell on uh, today's edition of On the Table. We're not yet done. There's still more to come because we are focusing on all things women yeah fumukazi is on the show and bombshell is still uh, in laughter at the moment but um yeah we have to go now but when we get back we'll be joined by nicole moyo <laughs> stick around